watched When Evil Lurks last night. <laughs> okay, so this this movie it's not it's not a funny movie. I don't know. I this movie is fucked. Jesus Christ, this fucking movie. This film is fucking evil. Like this is a this is a diabolical film in every sense of the word. I am so glad this movie is last on my 2023 Spooktober Watchfest because I honestly need a rest after seeing it. I feel like my emotions have been fed through a pasta machine and just stretched and flattened out. This movie is fucking relentless and I'm not too proud to admit that I needed like a little bit of a like cry after I was done with this. Like just a little bit. I mean, I did watch like 30 horror films in quick succession. So maybe that's just my Mandula Ablongata redlining. But fuck this movie. This movie has the most unique and scariest demon law of any film ever. Like possession in this, just it's not treated how it is in The Exorcist, Insidious, Talk to Me, which also came out this year. It's it's done almost biologically in this, and it's fuck. This is one of the best films of 2023 for sure. Like Talk to Me and this, different films just in terms of like how hardcore they are. Um, like, I would recommend Talk To Me for a lot of people. I don't know if I'd recommend this one for a lot of people. But it is one of the best horror films. Like, it's it's possibly an all-timer for me. It's fucking magnificent. E- when Evil Lurks follows brothers Pedro and Yimi, who live in a rural village in Argentina, a member of the village has become possessed by a demon, making them what they like to call a rotten, um, and is basically going to give birth to the devil. Or a devil, I should say. Pedro and Yimi think they're doing the right thing and they try to remove the man from the village and they unleash a chain reaction of events that descend so close to emotional hell that my heart got a fucking sunburn. I'm telling you, this movie, fuck, this movie. It's crazy. It's a crazy movie. said it in the intro this movie is fucking evil this is an evil movie this movie made me feel sick like i'm talking physically ill in three places now i watch you've seen the movies i watch i cover a lot of fucked up movies on this channel i have a pretty strong stomach like i slam peanut m&ms and i can watch any movie while eating like i don't give a fuck i rarely get ill in movies this did it to me three times Another thing this movie does is there's no jump scares in this movie. This movie is fucking terrifying and there's no jump scares at all. It's one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. No jump scares. It got my heart rate to almost the same as it did with Gone Jam. And Gone Jam is all jump scares. Damien Rugner, who wrote this film, he just knows how to hit those buttons. He also wrote Terrified, which is like a 2017 Argentinian horror film. It's got also got an amazing premise. The premise is what if... A whole suburb was haunted, not just a house. Also, a great film. It's on Shutter. If you if you like this one, go see that one too. It's fucking great. Um, the man just has infinite horrific ideas, and I don't know whether that scares or excites me because he's if he's putting out shit of this quality every time. Like I can't. His IMDb is going to be nuts, dude. The dude is a horror mastermind. The acting in this movie is really good. I, I just adored the relationship between the two brothers. Even though Pedro's not a good guy, Yimmy still has his brother's back. Like, I'm someone who's luckily very close to my brother. I've got a very good relationship with my brother. And I felt these two's devotion and love for each other in this movie. So, shout out to Ezekiel Rodriguez and Damien Salomon. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but I just wanted people to know your names because you fucking nailed that feeling so thank you you've nailed the like the loving too many times in horror movies you see siblings and they're estranged or there was some falling out or they fucking hate each other 
These are two brothers who are like, they've got each other's backs. They'll go to the ends of the earth. They're saving each other's kids. It's 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 fucking great. It's great. It is brotherly love. It's and unfortunately the film preys on that, but it is great. The law in this movie is unlike anything I've seen. I said it before. Like there are rules that you learn in this film, and somehow they make it worse. In most horror films, when you learn the rules of the horror film or the entity or whatever, you sort of get that like, oh fuck, here we go. Like it's time to get some payback. Let's start making plans to get this thing. You know, that's sort of the 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 emotional roller coaster you go on. I learned these rules and it made me fucking miserable because you realize the insurmountable task that these guys are dealing with. It's it's tough. It's tough. You just go like, oh, fuck, all right. This thing's so contagious. How are we going to deal with it? I will say, as a side note, there is a character in this with an intellectual disability and the way the demon interacts with them is actually really, really clever and it did open up a world of consequences and situations that I hadn't thought about, but I could also see them being very triggering um, due to like the harm and the heinous actions involved. So just be warned going in, you know, I was a disability worker for quite a few years, you know, it's not something to be made light of. I, although I do feel like they handle it quite well in this movie, but I do know that, you know, if you're a support worker or a parent or a family member of someone with an intellectual disability, harm, like th- thinking about harm occurring to that person could could be pretty full on and this movie does that. So just I just wanted to really clearly state that going in. This movie is fucking hardcore. There is violence and gore in this movie that will be with me for the rest of my life. When people say, like, what's the scariest horror film you've seen? What's the most fucked up horror film you've seen? There will be scenes from this that are going to jump to the front of my mind. And I cannot unring that bell. So please, 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 please be aware of that before you go into this. This is one of the most hardcore horror films I've ever seen. There is a scene involving some cannibalism. Like, I'm talking... You know, Jupiter eating, it's a Saturn eating his son sort of stuff. And I didn't even bat a fucking eyelid because all of those scenes are surrounded by even more fucked up scenes. Like, that just seems like commonplace in this movie. So just be warned. The practical effects are fucking disgusting. There's a character in this that every time they move, like, pus and stuff, like, oozes out of them. Ugh. Yuck. It's, they're so realistic. I got goosebumps and like chills every time they like went for fully went for a practical effect in this movie. The only thing, and I mean the only thing I didn't like about this movie, this might like I said before, this might be an old all timer. The only thing I'm like wrestling with is if you can have an all timer that you never want to watch again. You know what I mean? Like an all timer to me is something you can just put on and watch because you love it all the time. I don't know if I could watch this multiple times. Um, the only thing that brought this movie down for me is that there's a character that makes a terrible decision near the finish line and it made me fucking furious. Like, I was out loud exclaiming, no, why, fuck, no, come on, dude, why, don't do that, why are you doing that? Like, it was that level of, you know, anger at this guy. Um, but in the film's defense, they do somewhat set up that the character is a bit like that. So it does fit in with his character a little bit, but I, it did not stop me from having a fucking sulk after I was done with this movie. I did fucking sulk. Um, but this movie, the finish of this movie too is fantastic. Like, God, this is a good movie. It's fucked up, but it is, it is a top, it's one of the top movies. It's, it's one of the top movies of this year and the last decade for me. I recommend watching this if you love disturbing horrors. The Sadness, Speak No Evil, Hereditary, that sort of thing. This is up there. Sinister, they're all up there. If you're looking for scares, this is fucking terrifying. If you love when people do a unique take on something that's overdone, Possession, for example, we've got two in Talk To Me and When Evil Lurks. We've had two good Possession films this year. Amazing. Um, This does this really well. I don't recommend watching this if Harm Against Animals or people with an intellectual disability is too much to watch. I understand. Be warned. Big trigger warning. If you want something chill... This is this is so far from fucking chill. This is like, you don't put this on in the background of a horror party. This is fucking scorching. This is the opposite of chill. 
if you hate realistic gore, cannibalism, illness, demons, medical gore, this is a, this movie is a cinematic trigger warning. Just be warned going in. If you hate subtitles, that's a shame. This movie's really good, but you're not gonna. It's Argentinian. You're not gonna like this. If you are gonna steal yourselves and go in on this film, good fucking luck. I'm telling you, you will be rewarded with one of the best horror films I've seen of the past like five, ten years. But it is scary. It is bleak. It is brutal. Um, I loved it. God, I loved it. But if and if that is your game, you will get a lot out of this. Um, but God, this fucking movie. I need to have a lie down. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Especially if you've been following along with my Spooktober Watch Fest. You guys are the best. I've really loved it this year. Especially just starting out. I appreciate the fuck out of it. Um, I'll see you in a week for another review. As always, peace. <laughs>